I'm a self-employed electrician in Europe. I'd like to accept BTC as payments, but I think that initially it will just be a few transactions a year. What about BTC pay server versus just printing a Bitcoin address on the invoice? How does BTC pay server work? Um, BTC pay server gives you a ton of flexibility. It allows you to have multiple companies, multiple wallets um, to create and track thousands and thousands of invoices and payments. Um, but uh, it takes quite a bit of work to install and deploy. Um, at the very least, if you installed it and deployed it as a Docker container, you need to be familiar with how to set up services on something like uh, the Microsoft Azure cloud service. Uh, you need to configure it, mm, way too complicated. And there's no reason to do that. For a few transactions a year, really simple. If you have a hardware wallet, um, what you do is you generate a receive address on your hardware wallet, and then you copy and paste that receive address. And if you want the QR code uh, into an invoice, and you can make that using something as simple as Google Docs, make a nice little template and paste your QR code and address in there. And that's it. It's useful when you create an invoice like that to give instructions on how someone should calculate the exchange rate, because you're probably not billing in Bitcoin. Uh, that's going to be very difficult for customers, even if those customers are Bitcoin aficionados, right? Because Bitcoin uh, and other cryptocurrencies are great as a medium of exchange and a store of value, but not particularly good as units of account because of volatility. So you'll probably be billing in euros. Um, and you're going to need to do your accounting and tax payments in euros anyway, so that makes it easier. So let's say you bill 100 euro for one of your services, and your customer needs to pay you in Bitcoin, so you have a Bitcoin address on your invoice, they will need to find a way, preferably an agreed way that you're comfortable with, on deciding what the exchange rate is at the time of payment. So even if you just put a little blurb at the bottom of the invoice that says terms and conditions, and you say exchange rate calculated at time of payment based on bitcoinaverage.com, coincap.io, coinmarketcap.com, or whatever other mechanism um, or price index you want to use. And that's what you would put in your invoice so that your customer knows, okay, at the moment of payment, I go on one of these um, price indices, I calculate the exchange rate for 100 euro, and I pay that amount in Bitcoin to the Bitcoin address that is below. Now remember, different Bitcoin address, different QR code, obviously, for every invoice. You want every payment to be in its own Bitcoin address for two reasons. Reason number one, it gives you a really easy way to track payments. So when you create the receive address in your hardware wallet, you can tag it, you can label it and say, um, payment from John for installation of solar panels. And that way, when you see a credit against that, you're like, oh, okay, that was invoice 13 payment for John, from John. And so you can track who has paid you and who hasn't. Um, another reason why you would want to have a separate address per invoice, of course, is for privacy. Um, that way, your customer who receives this invoice can't see all of the payments you've received before, and you're not reusing addresses on the Bitcoin blockchain or any blockchain, which is a, a serious privacy risk for you. So um, that's another consideration. But you know, really, really simple. You don't need the full-blown BTC pay server um, or such system in order to just do an invoice a few times a year. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free. So if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.